everything in Pipeliner is process-oriented. Here you can see many different pipelines already in the system. You can have as many as you like, regardless of how many sales teams. Maybe you've got a direct sales team and a channel sales team. Maybe you have different lines of business and each has a different process that you want to follow. In either case, it is very simple to add a new pipeline, choose a name, choose a color, and then add steps. The direct sales pipeline that we are looking at now currently has five stages in the process, and each stage has a very similar input screen that looks like this. Now you can name each stage of the pipeline process and set the probability of success percentage for something that's in that stage. Plus, set the velocity. In other words, how long can a deal stay in that stage before you think that it's lost its momentum and needs attention? And then down below, you can create all the individual tasks that need to be completed, whether it's a phone call, a meeting, an email, anything that you might define for the sales rep that says, when you are in this stage, these are the tasks that you need to complete. Then you can decide if those tasks should be mandatory or not. We can also add documents here that might be helpful to the sales rep. A variety of documents, such as brochures or a PowerPoint that they use all the time, maybe some common sales questions, answers to objections, anything that you want to provide for their assistance. Plus, you can control who has access rights to which pipelines. An added feature here is that you can use a process for any department in your organization that has a process that they need to adhere to. You can see here is a hiring process, for example. Back in the main app, you see that you are viewing the direct sales pipeline, as you can see when you open the power panel. But you could easily switch to, for example, a channel sales pipeline if you wanted to see what was happening in that pipeline. And you remember, you can restrict access, so maybe the channel sales team only gets to see the channel sales pipeline, whereas some of the management might be able to switch between pipelines freely. Additional learning resources can be found in our knowledge base and on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or would like more information, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at pipelinersales.com. Please make sure you share this video with everyone in your organization who uses Pipeline or CRM so we can help them succeed too. We welcome your feedback and suggestions for adding to or improving our Academy resources. Please email academy at pipelinersales.com with any suggestions.